Our homes have been colder than ever this winter, and local businesses have been closing all around us because of the soaring price of energy. But don't worry, we're not here to depress you. We're here to explain how future winters could be better. It's about stopping something called fossilflation. So what is fossilflation, and why should it matter to all of us? Fossilflation is when our energy, food, and other prices at home go up because our whole system relies too much on fossil fuels, like oil and gas, which can change in price at the drop of a hat. So what's pushing up oil and gas prices? Well, the first problem is, most of the energy we use comes from abroad and is bought on global fossil fuels markets. So when a pipeline bursts in one country, or when war breaks out in fossil fuel producing countries, or even when global producers decide to cut production just to boost their own bottom line, it can impact household bills all around the world. But this isn't just a problem of geography, politics or war. Right now, we have a broken system that allows fossil fuel companies like Shell to continue reaping record profits, even as the price of that fuel cripples everyone else. And plundering the North Sea won't bring the price down. Shell won't give you a discount just because they drilled in your back garden. This isn't going to get better on its own. So what can we do about it? Well, we can all push the government and the Bank of England to do three things. First things first, we need to move our whole system to renewable energy. We could power our country with the elements, but that means big investment, which the government and the Bank of England can both ensure. Secondly, the Bank of England must stop raising interest rates. Rates don't tackle fossilflation, they actually make people poorer, and they stifle investment in those renewables we so desperately need. Finally, the government must stop approving new fossil fuel projects and stop money from the UK flowing to new projects overseas. So how do we create this pressure? That's where you come in. Now that you've got the facts, you can be an activist too. You can start by sharing this video. Let's get out there and spread the word about fossilflation.